guy just got this guy around the neck. What is it? A pin that turns into a fishing rod? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go fish with it. You see the pin right there? There's the pin. And that's the fishing rod right there. Is that the fishing reel? Yeah. Yeah. And it, this is turned to a fishing reel. You open it, not a real pin. That opens up. It's not a real pin. No. It turns into a fishing reel. Yeah. Or a fishing rod. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. We got the pin rod. Pin rod. We're gonna do a fishing challenge. See if we can catch a fish on this thing. Um, the doctor says I have to limit my use of carrying. I can't carry anything heavy, heavier than a half a gallon of milk. So we're going to do this. I think I'm, I should be able to lift this, but I'm going to bring him along and he'll be able to reel in the fish and hopefully we can catch fish. We're actually going to go to our local pond right here down the street from us, um, in our residential area and see what we can do. But, um, yeah, it's like a little pin turns into a rod. You guys are real familiar. They do the big old fishing rod pin challenge things with this. So. Let's go see what we can do. Stay tuned. I'm going to actually put on, I don't know what pound test they have on this thing. So I am going to be Bye. using some 15-pound uh, Berkley uh, just to make sure we don't lose any fish. Are you going to go with me? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go catch fish. Stay tuned. Okay. I'm going to go. <laughs> All right, guys. So out of the package, this is what you get. A uh, little reel. You can go left or right, of course, either way. And then here's the rod. You can see how this extends out. And this is the pen. Is that the part of the pen? Yeah. All right. You can see the little eyelids on this thing. It's pretty cool. Um, and then it extends out. You got one, two, three, four, four eyes on it. Uh, then you have the insert here. So we are going to put this together and go see what we can get done. Yeah, yeah. And we're, like I said, they didn't give you much line on this thing. So we're going to put some 14-pound uh, uh, Berkeley casting line on here. And... Um, I might even bring some corn or some bread. Maybe we'll try to catch a carp on this thing. All right, guys. I think the 14 pound test is a little too heavy for this reel, but uh, that, and I didn't spool the line on very good, so it's kind of like spitting off. But it is what it is. Um, I got a little crankbait on there right now. We're going to go hit the ponds right here down the street from my house. Um, I don't even know if the bass are still active in there or not, but whatever. We'll see what happens. I just want to test out this rod. I'm, that's what was my most interest was this rod. Seeing people catch big old carp and stuff like that on these rods. Um, <laughs> it's pretty wild, so it looks like fun. And uh, I have to watch what I catch, so I didn't bring any carp stuff because I can't net any carp or pick up any carp. Uh, pretty much still handicapped, I guess you'd consider it as, but... I've been dying. I've been watching videos of people using these pin rods and I've been dying to get one in my hands and actually uh, give it a go and see what, you know, how fun they really are. It looks like fun. So light tackle on big fish, but I'm actually going for smaller fish. I'm going to go for small bass and stuff like that. Um, and then once I get back on my feet, I'm definitely going to use this thing and catch a big old carp. That's my goal. So for sure, that's going to be fun. Uh, so yeah, we're right down the street from the ponds, um, and then uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully there's some fish in here. If not, I know where some trout are. We'll go catch, uh, catch some trout on this little thing, and hopefully, hopefully we catch a fish. We'll see. Stay tuned. Oh man, I just hooked myself. Damn. Just got a hook in my butt. Oh, come on. Seriously, hold on guys, I just got a hook in my butt. There, I got it out. All right, so here's a little pin rod. Here's the bones. See what we can do. I'm almost guaranteeing when I cast it out, all this line's just gonna go and shoot right off of it. But you can see how big this thing is now. Probably about the size of it, as long as my arm. I haven't fished the ponds here in a long time, so. Should be fun. 
I know there's some really big carp in this place, but as you guys know, I just went under back surgery and uh, there's no way I can lift the carp. I'd probably die. Let's see if I can spot some bass. I might just play around and just cast and get used to this thing. See what happens. See how this thing casts. First cast. Oh god, that thing casts horribly. I definitely need to put some lighter line on this. It doesn't cast too bad. It's just I got really thick line on this, so it makes it hard to cast. I was actually going to put a big spinner bait on there, but. Mm, I think I'll just stick with this little thing I got on right now. What's really cool about this is for pond hopping. You don't have to carry big old rods and stuff. I think I see a bass there. Let's get another cast flow. Oh, gosh. It's so awkward to cast. It's kind of fun though. Oh, that's a turtle. It's not even a bass. My lure's like swimming all sideways and stuff. There's a turtle. This thing is so crazy. Is that a bass? Oh, that's a bass right there. Yeah, that's a big old turtle right there too. Here comes a bass. Here we go. Oh, he sees it. Come on. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Nope. No interest. Oh yeah, he's coming back. Oh look, he's right there. It's a nice bass too. Look at him. I'm just gonna cast it out without trying to scare him. See if I can get a cast for her. Ninja cast. Oh no. I screwed up. I got a big old wind knot. Oh no. Oh he's running away. Oh, I got a wind knot. A horrible knot. Dang it. I knew I was going to freaking choke like this. There, I got it out. Oh, he's leaving. He's leaving. I should have put lighter line. Oh, there he is. He's not leaving. All right, here he goes. He's got no interest in it. Oh, there's a big carp. Another big carp right there. Let's see if I get a carp to attack this. No way, he's gonna get it. Nope. God, I should have brought bread now. I'm regretting it. There's a big carp right there, though. Let's see the carp. One piece of bread it would have been on. Ah, George, why didn't you bring bread? Hello. There's a turtle. The turtle. We'll just continue to walk around, keep walking, we'll go to the next pond. For these ponds, you do have to be a resident, and I am luckily a resident of the location, so that saves us. We don't have to worry about getting kicked out or none of that stuff. But if you're not a resident, then yeah, they will kick you out. So, we're cool, we're good. But yeah, definitely 14 pound test is too thick for this. You can see the way it's all spooled on there, it's a mess. I'm definitely getting some exercise. 
I see some bass, or is that turtles? Little bass. A lot of little bass. Wow, a bunch of little bass. Schoolies like crazy. Tons of bass. All these little ones are trying to get it too. Definitely a lot of little schoolies in here. That sucked. That was a big carp too. This thing cast is far. Oh my god, I got one. Got a fish, guys. Oh, he popped off. No. 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 Oh, I had him. Oh my god, I had him. Dude. Well, at least the line's on here better. All right, yeah, let's go. Sun's getting ready to go down. I ain't got much time. Cool little pro, I'll tell you, people that came out with this thing, man, <laughs> they're probably making millions right now. Everybody keeps buying them and doing these challenges. But yeah, definitely don't put 14 pounds S on here. I'd probably put six pound, 10 pound, if that. So, that's cool. It is what it is. Throw on my little trout jig. We'll go see if we can catch a trout on it. Worst case scenario. I'm very limited on what I do, so it's like my only option now. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, we're going to head over here to the river, see what we can get done. Um, lost one. <laughs> Sucks. Oh, man, I guess these ponds just ain't produced like they used to be, man. I'll tell you what. I used to take the kids down there. We used to catch bass all the time. Now it's just like, blah, nothing. But, um, yeah. So we are going to go hit the river right here real quick and see if we can hammer a little trout. I just want to catch one fish on it. That's all I really want to do is... You know, until I get better and I'm able to do some actual fishing, then I want to catch a carp on it. Uh, maybe even a striped bass. You know, something crazy. I want to catch something crazy on it. I don't even care for breaks. It's only like, I think I paid eight bucks or something like that on eBay. Uh, so yeah, I definitely want to, right now I just want to catch whatever. Uh, but when I'm back to my full fishing adventures, then I'm definitely going to put something crazy on this rod catfish or striped bass like I said or a card something crazy that's I want to put this little rod to the challenge so we are almost here at the river right basically in my backyard almost and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch the trout stay tuned man there's a lot of people a lot of people lots of people a whole bunch of people down here guys hopefully I can find a spot man 
after car after truck after truck after boat after boat yeah it's gonna be crazy i don't know we'll see see if i can find a spot down here to do a couple of casts and then we'll call it but um we are at the river we are at the river god there's a lot of boat traffic oh yeah buddy Check it out guys, look at it. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I think this guy got one. They hidden? Yeah, I got two. Nice. There we go. There they are. Oh shit. Oh damn, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, they like run up on it and they take off, man. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. Hey, appreciate the corn, brother. No worries. You have a good one. You too. This guy just got this guy around the neck. Damn, they're about to fight. Well, damn, that guy just hooked that other guy with the fishing rod. <laughs> Crazy. All right, guys, we're out. All right, guys, we are done. Take it off. I can't even catch a fish. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I could catch a carp. If I really wanted to catch a carp, I'd catch a carp, but I just don't want to risk it. So I don't even know if this video is going to get uploaded. It might. I don't know. We'll see.
I might continue this video for another fishing day and then yeah but dude this this thing's cool man I tell you what just don't put thick line on there like I did 14 pound test is a no-no for it it definitely does not like that thick of line so I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna definitely gonna take that line off put some six pound test on there and then uh, I think that was another problem too I couldn't catch any of these trouts because they were just thick line it just spooks them they don't like it once they school up and they hit that one hits that line they spread out and take off but whatever fun fun stuff <laughs> i'll tell you guys buy one the little pin reels i'll tell you guys what this thing is freaking cool fun so yeah buddy i don't know if we'll see if i upload this if not i'll be connecting it to another video and maybe i'll try to find some fish that i can actually catch with this thing uh maybe we'll go hit the docks or something and go do some crappie fishing or who knows i don't know we'll see so stay tuned if this is uploaded it's uploaded if it's not then it'll be connected to another video love you guys yeah buddy